Welcome, Kira uh, Radinsky. Uh, it's such an honor to have you here at the web conference. I'm going to talk a little bit about, we spoke a little bit earlier that now you're working as a data scientist with eBay. You're also I'm the director of data science of eBay, yes. And you're also a visiting professor at the University of Technion. Yes. And that's the MIT of Israel, if I understood true. it. That's true. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being with us. And I guess uh, maybe first we can talk a little bit about, we were talking earlier a little bit about the, uh, the big conference track that you're, you're working on here at the web conference. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Every year we're trying to do something related to the industry and bring the best of minds to actually talk about this and share from their experience. This year we had the big focus on healthcare on the web and specifically how can we leverage everything we know about artificial intelligence and machine learning to improve healthcare, to improve pharma. We had many discussions about this, many panelists. Then we started discussing additional issues around ethics in machine learning and specifically John Kleiber gave a wonderful talk discussing bias in machine learning and how we can handle with this as well. We've also been discussing exact implementations of both policies of machine learning inside companies like Pinterest, like Yandex, a large search engine in uh, Russia as well. And exactly how are they deploying all this machine learning advancements inside real production systems? And uh, we were just talking about this a little bit earlier and the ethics and, and algorithms and how this can adapt uh, for the healthcare industry. Do you, did you hear uh, in the talk that you saw today and then any of the future uh, talks that are happening here that, uh, that are talking about things that you yourself hadn't, hadn't thought about and that are, are inspiring you moving forward? Well, definitely. So let's discuss the two topics. The first one is healthcare and machine learning and the web. Specifically today, there is a lot of interest that is starting to happen in the web community about how can we take the information people are living online and improve our lives from a healthcare perspective. How can we identify depression? How can we help people who have chronic disease to follow them and use this information they put online something that understands their development during the disease and actually interfere. Send you an SMS message say, hey, did you run today? This helps a lot to diabetes. It's actually been shown quite some time that stress has really bad impact on people length of life. Actually been an interesting study in one of the main uh, science journals showing that people who are treating people that have chronic diseases have shorter telomeres. It actually means they have six years less to live. So we actually can monitor them, understand that they need the support and identify this over time. We have the privilege as the one of the largest companies to actually help those people monitor them and interfere. The applications of this is not only in healthcare through the web, but an actual understanding of our electronic health records and understanding diseases before they're about to happen, for example, like Parkinson disease, understanding personalized medical treatment, and in the pharma, understanding how can we generate new drugs automatically by learning from patterns that we saw in the past. And one of the papers that we were discussing, they actually saw that if they used their system in the 30s, they would have discovered the main drug for tuberculosis. Think about it. 20 years before it was actually discovered, an algorithm could have been discovering that exact thing. This is exactly the future that we're trying to lead here. Now, the second topic is ethics and machine learning in general. This is, I think, not researched enough, but we've all been discussing really interesting cases, and some of them even reached the news. So, for example, women have been shown ads for low-paid jobs much more than men, which creates a much bigger problem. It actually happens because algorithms are not humans, they don't have ethics, they're just statisticians. They look at a lot of data, identify patterns, and act based on these patterns. 
as a society, we're much deeper than that. We understand much more than local patterns and understand that looking at local patterns can, might help us in the next year or two. But as a society that builds itself for hundreds of years forward, it has to build ethics. And only now in the machine learning community and in the web community, we're starting to discuss what does it mean to be an ethical machine learning algorithm? How do we define the mathematical foundations for this and how we build on this? Well, it is a great, great honor to have you here at the web conference and thank you so much for being with us. Thanks so much.